everybody and welcome back to uh warhammer 40k rogue trader uh last time we had a bit of a fight and we got our new party member jay dude uh another officer bro prefer power. and now and we have you three officers of house or Celio. i'm always ready uh I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be real with you. Probably one too many. <laughs> Probably three officers. Not the way to go. Uh, but also, I think it's fine for now. I don't think we're going to be running into anything too stressful because of it. So we had this big old fight back here, got her stuff back, and now we are ready to move Victory forward works. and see what else this footfall place has in store for us. Okay, so what was next on our path here? Did that take a lot of time? I don't even know. Not enough, apparently, to get these boys out of the fucking goddamn way. So what is next on our agenda here? Let's actually go to our journal. Let's take a look here. These are all completed. Tattered spirit. To coordinate next, next steps, and the Lord Captain must hold a meeting with his retinue. Okay, so we need to go back to the ship and hold a meeting. On the hunt for knowledge, scan planets, that's fine. Where the shadows are deepest of all. Uh, the Lord Captain decided against going to the dangerous location in person. However, the Liege believes that after the death of the last victim, the area can be safely disinfected. On the Lord Captain's orders, help has been sent to the residents of the sealed off area. Okay, so that seems just like a wait kind of thing. Uh, we've got ha Hunger's Hand. Footfall is experiencing severe shortages of provisions. Yes, yes, yes. So that also seems like a thing we have to do back at our ship. Astray. Sister Argento has asked to, for the rogue trader to discuss Rita Venge privately on the ship. Very cool. Lucrative opportunity. The cold trader who recently joined the rogue trader's retinue is ready to conduct business big and small. The Lord Captain can listen to Jay's intriguing businesses, uh, business propositions on the captain's bridge. So everything, I think it is time to just go back to the ship. Let's see. Become a god to your subjects. Very cool. Very funny. Um, hold on. Uh, seek the second dawn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's main story stuff, it seems. This is, uh, the bridge cogitator once belong. Also, I learned how to say cogitator. Very funny. Uh, thank you, Space Marine 2. <laughs> I remembered from that. Uh, belong to Theodore von Valencius. Pascal is sure that it can be used to decrypt the discovered data bank. So that's also probably back on the ship. Uh, Warden of the Expanse, the Inquisitors, powerful and mysterious figure, okay. Uh, stolen stars, the Drukhari have been observed stealing gun, uh, stealing suns in the Coronas Expanse, okay. Hotbed for Xeno Heresy, plundered void station in the belt, according to numerous testimonies, is se uh, serving as a base of for a band of pirates who aren't above dealing with doing deals with Xenos. Okay. Very interesting. Lost on the void. Uh, Footfall still waiting for news about from an ancient arc known as the Wasteland Wayfarer, which is set off for distant stars in search for new worlds. Uh, the vessel's last uh, message supposedly came from this system. Okay, so we're probably gonna have to go there at some point. Xeno's on a rampage. There are whispers of footfall on Xeno, uh, foot, on footfall about Xenos. Okay. Those cursed enemies of humanity. Carrying out raids on inhabited worlds and ruthlessly, ruthlessly destroying Imperial outposts. Okay, cool. We got angels of the Imperium, or of the Emperor in the Expanse. Travelers arriving on footfall bring with them rumors of Emperor's blessed angels coming to the region to repel the Xeno threat. The holy warriors are few in number and are fighting 
in the farthest flung reaches of the expanse. Thousands of refugees from Winterscale's realm uh, arrived on footfall aboard the transport Navasi? Navisa? I don't know. Uh, but found no refuge there and set off to the desert world of Foulstone. Okay. Uh, cash from former Lantern. Uh, great Cathedral was never built. The turret that would have crowned the Colossal Dome is now located in the atrium where it serves as the Chapel of St. Duresus. Duresus. Uh, <laughs> there may be an ancient cache inside it. Inevitable Triumph. Decades ago, a ship named, called the Inevitable Triumph went missing on course for footfall. A, shovel, a shuttle from the ship has been discovered not far from this system. Well, that system, I should say. Uh, dumped cargo. Careless officer dumped cargo, and we should go pick it up. Very cool. No contracts. Okay, epic. Awesome. Well, that's I good to know. Tolerate weakness. I think... So, everything seems to be go back to the ship, right? I think I want to head back to the atrium real quick. Just take a look around there. I might cut it out. I don't know yet. Um probably take a look around there to see if I can find this cache maybe we'll see about that it might be in another part of a map I don't know it seems like we've unlocked all of the portions of the map that we need so I don't know if there's more to it we shall see but yeah uh, I'm gonna go take a look around if I don't find anything I will cut it out Okay, waste of time, awesome. Didn't find anything. Uh, so we are back it's here at the docks. Time. Let us go. And let's see. Oh, there is loot over here. Where is this loot? Oh, that's right. Wasn't there like a puzzle or something here? Yeah, one, three, four, five. There was a puzzle that I couldn't solve. And I don't know <laughs> if I have the necessary information I'll on me for it. To the stars. Ha Heinrich! A familiar figure turns to you, Heinrich von Kalax, interrogator for the Ordo for the or Ordo Xenos, bows his head respectfully, Lord Captain. Honored interrogator. Uh, what a surprise. Do you have perchance <laughs> did you perchance leave something in your cabin not at all first mate warsarian uh <laughs> not in the habit i'm not in the habit of leaving a trail but i thank you for your concern pleasure to meet you again uh heinrich allows himself a hint of a smile I'm glad to hear that my presence aboard your ship did not leave you with any unpleasant memories. I hope your disposition won't change once I have explained the reason for my visit. Fuck! No, I'm just kidding. I was able to contact my mentor and report the tragic events that transpired on Reichen Menoris. I also received some information from my agents regarding the movements and actions of enemies of humanity including the Xenos that we're assuming were involved in the theft of the star. According to their findings, the threat now hangs over other worlds, this time yours, Lord Captain. What? Henry clears his throat and begins to pointedly... begins in a pointedly official tone. By the order of the Lord Inquisitor, Xavier... uh... Palcazar? whose duty is to stand sentinel over the Coronas Expanse, the rogue trader of House Von Valentius is to take on board the agent of his mo of the Most Holy Inquisition and provide escort and support in deals great and small that serve to safeguard the territories of the Imperium against its enemies. This decree is effective immediately upon announcement and remains in effect until decided otherwise by His Excellency Kalkazar. Okay. Heinrich, would you mind translating the torrent of verbiage? 
<laughs> verbiage you just unleashed upon me. I think it was pretty obvious. I can't say no. I can't really say no, can I? What exactly caused this need to rejoin my crew? Uh, the cause for is this activity of humanity's enemies, including the cold of the final dawn. In my absence, the situation in the Coronas Expanse has changed. I've received an exhaustive report from my agents. This heresy has taken root in the region where the Von Valencius worlds lie. Uh, you probably already know about the fate of the industrial world of Cava Gamma. If not, then I shall share the details I know, but not here. Better to talk on board where we will not be overheard. Okay, very well. Uh, Heinrich, would you mind translating? I can't really say no. I, rogue trader Wilbur von Valencius, welcome the agent of the Golden Throne aboard my ship and take the responsibility of assisting him in the fight against the evil that threatens humanity. A sanctioned psyker in an inquisitorial rosette in my retinue? For free, no less? <laughs> the rogue trader will be positively green with envy. Oh, the other rogue traders. I'm not fond of the methods used by the Inquisition, but I will assist you in any way that I can. Uh, the I object to such an abuse of power by the Inquisition. I am a rogue trader, not some peasant to be pushed around. No, I will take you in. Re uh, gives a reserved nod, an answer befitting a righteous servant of the Emperor. If duty has brought you on board the rogue trader ship once more, then such is the Emperor's will. Welcome back, interrogator. Thank you, sister. It is an honor to be traveling with one of the blessed Adeptus Sororitas. The Inquisition. Wilbur, you never mentioned you socialite. Oh, uh, you socialized with such distinguished servants of the Emperor. I bet it'll take someone truly. I bet it takes someone truly remarkable to warrant such imminent and close attention. Jay lets out a laugh. Heinrich glances at her and tilts her head slightly. Mistress Heydari. Heydari? Ever since my first visit to Footfall, I've been hearing about your colleagues and potential ta personal talents. Uh, but I'm afraid your full name escapes me. Would you kindly refresh my memory? Laughter gets stuck in Jay's throat. She pales slightly, but still forces an apologetic smile. I don't mean Shireen. Oh, I don't mind Shireen. Uh, let my full name remain not but a stray sound to you. Pain, plain and uninteresting. Master Von Kallax. Cassia's voice is brimming with genuine joy, which she immediately hides behind a facade of highborn primeness. Primeness? Uh, since you are with us once more, I do hope... You will find time to finish our conversation about the literary works of the dude, the blessed. <laughs> Kronholler, the blessed? I will make every effort, Lady Orcelio. I must also deliver this to you. Heinrich pulls out a sealed letter. The Lord Inquisitor, the Lord Inquisitor, Specified that the contents of this envelope are for your eyes only. I would ask you to read it as soon as you have time. Letter from the Inquisitor Xavier. Or is it Javier? <laughs> or is it Xavier? <laughs> Just kidding. Um, that is everything for the time being. Are you headed to your ship or do you ha still have business on football? Whichever the case, I will either wait for you on board or accompany you as part of your retinue. Ace back, baby. I know, I'm sorry. I just got you, but, but I think he's much better in my opinion. Uh, let's actually, oh, C to level him up. Very cool. Let's go archetypes. He is an assassin. That is right. I forgot I did that. Uh, Death Whisper. The assassin makes an attack that does not count towards the limit of attacks per turn and does not block the assassin's movement, but deals only 25% of the assassin's usual damage. If hard, 
If the attack is successful, the su uh, target suffers a hemorrhage effect. Hemorrhaging at the beginning of each turn of the target's turn, they will su suffer lethality divided by 10 rendering rending damage that ignores armor and deflection. Lethality is a specific assassin parameter that is equal to dodge or dodge reduction, whichever is higher. Interesting. Elusive Shadow. For one round, the assassin becomes the lowest priority target for enemies' attacks and gains the elusive effect. Damn. The assassin can move through enemies. Assassin gains agility, dodge, and perception, dodge reduction. The assassin attacks gain, deal 10% more damage overall. Oh, t additional damage, sorry. Uh, all half cover provides the assassin 50% cover efficiency. And he loses it when he attacks. Okay, cool. Poised to strike. The assassin makes an enemy suffer. Uh, all that shit. Armor and deflection until the end of the assassin's turn. If there is only one enemy adjacent to them, the assassin also gains dodge percentage until the assassin's next turn. If there are no enemies adjacent to the assassin, they gain dodge reduction until the next turn. Interesting. Hmm... I'm thinking maybe I go Death Whisper. That's just a straight up, like, free attack. Well, how much? And it costs zero AP. Yeah, I think I will take that. That's pretty good. And then there's all the Psyker stuff. Very cool. Let me read the rest of these just to see. The assassin dashes in a straight line for up to uh, whatever cells, suffering assassin's uh, weapon skill bonus less damage from attacks of opportunity and gaining dodge percentage uh, against the enemy they dash through until the assassin's next turn. If the assassin has not dashed through any enemies at the end of their turn, they gain cover efficiency to their cover until the assassin's next move. Does not stack with itself. After the first use, the assassin can use this ability again for free. Interesting. That's a pretty good amount of movement, I guess. The assassin's next single target attack will have a minus 50% armor penetration penalty with a minimum of 0% armor penetration and plus 10 lethality. If it is a melee attack, its target rotates 180 degrees. The enemy's dodge and parry against the assassin's attack is equal to zero until the start of the next enemy's turn. Uh, if it is a ranged attack, the target is focused to move, a uh, force to move to the closest cell in a three cell range with no ad adjacent cover facing towards the assassin. This movement provokes opportunity attack. That's pretty good, actually. So that's kind of just like a get them out of cover. That actually might be pretty good, actually. Yeah, that's interesting. I, I think I'll hold off on that. I think I'll take the Death Whisper over that, but this is definitely a next in line sort of thing. The Assassin's Attacks grant 40% dodge to the target of this attack. Uh, if this attack hits, it deals an additional blah, blah, blah. Uh, damage increased by twice the percentage of the target's missing wounds. Okay. Interesting. I think I will take the Death Whisper. Now I have this. Eye of the Un... An eye for the unscathed. When the assassin attacks an enemy that is at full wounds, the assassin gets 20% dodge and dodge reduction against that enemy until the end of the assassin's turn. Uh, whenever the assassin attacks an enemy with a single target attack, this attack reduces the armor, the target's armor and dodge by 10% until the end of the assassin's turn. Interesting. Uh, if an enemy suffers a critical hit from one of the assassin's allies 
At the start of the assassin's turn, a new opening is created on the enemy on whichever side is closest to the assassin. So the openings are like directional based. Whenever the assassin hits an opening, excluding over penetration, they deal an additional 10% damage. Okay, and I think that's directional. It doesn't say that. Grand opening. Oh, that's the one I just read. Inevitable enervation. I don't know what that word means. Uh, each use of aim for the opening on the same target reduces the target's dodge and dodge reduction by 10% and stacks. A very cool. Perfect opening. The assassin gains lethality percentage, a uh, chance to deal 5% of the target's maximum wounds, more damage when hitting an opening. So that just makes them hit harder, it seems, if I hit their opening, which is pretty good. Professional acumen. Uh, every turn, the first use of an assassin ability costs zero. Yep, I'll we'll do that. Very good. <laughs> Ah, uh, very good. I will take that. And then I think perfect opening is our next play there. So very good. He is now leveled up with everyone. Uh, let us go to our inventory and see what we can give this man. He's got the four sword. Not that bad, not that good. He's got the psyker staff or siphon life. Very cool. Uh, we should have a better pistol than that, I believe. Shouldn't we? No, 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 uh, no, no. That is a better pistol. For sure. Rate of fire is, oh, that's an additional hit chance. Okay. 9 to 14. 10 to 14. Okay, interesting. 7 to 11. No, 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 no. I guess we kind of don't have a better pistol. I mean, this is like probably the better one. It's got two more minimum, but two less maximum. But this also has a 15% additional hit chance. But this also has the pistol burst. The other one does not. I think we'll take this one. I think we'll put that on there. That's good. Uh, as far as armor, uh, let's see if we have anything better. This is already better, the chainmail. 30 with a 75. 35 with a 75. 30 with a 75. 20 with a 75. 15. Is he Death World Origin? I have no idea. Who knows? Uh, it seems that this is our best option here. The black armor. Cool. As far as this... So he's really good at Xenos lore. And cores, but uh, I think we're good on that. With Abelard. He's a 90% parry. He has pretty well-rounded stats. His weapon skill is pretty up there. His ballistic skill is really not. So maybe we just want... Hmm, you know, maybe we just want a fucking... Two-handed weapon. Maybe we do just want to take that gun away. And use his Psyker abilities. What are his Psyker abilities? Now that I'm thinking about it. Let's go to character. Features. Uh, we're not even looking at him. Cool. So he's got a lot of melee stuff. He's got the haunting scream. Which is good. Aim for open. Oh, you know what? We do actually want to give him... I, I just remembered we do actually want to give him the pistol just because of the uh, that skill we're going to get, I should say. Not the skill that we have now, but the skill that we want, which is fine. Um, 
So let's go here. Let's take a look at these. Logic, not really worth it. Um, no, not really worth it. All targets of taunting screen suffer strength uh, in, to their willpower tests against this ability. That's interesting, I think. Uh, that could actually be interesting. I don't know. Where it gains persuasion. All opportunity attacks deal additional agility damage. What is your agility? 40. Not that great. Increases the movement points by 3. That could be interesting, I think. Raises momentum. Uh, let's see. Capes here. Grants. Does he already have a cape? No, he doesn't. Parry reduction and armor opening for melee attacks. That could be pretty good, I think. 15 armor against warp damage. Stops that shit immediately. Stop the debuffs. Increased range of officer archetype abilities by one cell. Not really worth it. And immune to burning. I think that's good. I think... Hmm... I think we'll put this helmet on him. So he gets the taunting scream ability, but now we can't see his beautiful face. Oh well. Um Bayonet knife, I guess. Or wait, what does Argenta have? She doesn't have that. She could put that on there. Because that shotgun can definitely do that. That would be very good for the shotgun, actually, now that I think about it. Uh let's go back to him. He's got boots. He doesn't have any gloves. I guess we'll do that. Because he's going to be in there with them. Which is good. Avalard, I think, he also doesn't have gloves. So I could probably give them to him. Uh, his weapon skill is higher. Isn't it? No, they're the same. So it doesn't truly matter. Oh, his strength is a lot higher, though. His strength is like 10 times higher. So yeah, I think I will put those on Abelard instead. Oh, well, it's agility. It's an agility bonus. So he has 35. He has 40. Okay. Yep. I had it right the first time, baby. <laughs> I like the, <laughs> the hot topic. The space hot topic. Okay, well, I think that's good. He can't equip any of these, so we might as well give him some grenades. Fuck it. I think that's good. Uh, let's go back to Wilbur. Let's take a look. We don't have... Where is the... Ah, the letter from Lord Inquisitor. May the Emperor's faithful forever remain in the light of his favor. Uh, let me be... Let me... First, express my condolences on the tragic death of the most honorable Theodora von Valencia. Uh, nevertheless, I was elated to hear that the warrant of the rogue traitor has been passed to a worthy and promising heir. These words are not hollow compliments, but rather the Inquisition's official opinion of your person. Uh, as fate would have it, you have taken the reins of the von Valencia's dynasty in an our most a dire when grim portents of dark events are to uh to come are surfacing throughout the coronas expanse i have i have been duty bound to become the first sentinel who sees the approaching threat and i hereby alert you that it is indeed coming our loyalty and resolve will be tested People such as you and I will become the pillars that will unite the Emperor's frightened children and inspire them to fight back. And so I greet you as my dependable ally and assure you are in my favor. For now, on, you have... Uh... Oh my god, stop. Where the fuck was I reading? Uh, okay. From now on, you have 
a trusted friend within the holy in orders of the emperor's inquisition and re receptive uh confidant who on whom you can rely should the dark times ahead require you to make questionable choices have no doubt that such an incident will be examined in the exceedingly temperate fashion that rules out the most radical forms of judgment. I have faith in the success of our partnership and thank you for your contribution, both past and future. Lord Inquisitor. Very cool. Okay. I think that's it. I think we're finally ready to go home. Um, Let's actually go to the formations tab. We're going to swap these two for sure. I think that's good. Cool. Victory awaits. Yep, that's good. All right. In we go. Back to the ship where we can talk to all our homies. And have a good time, hopefully. Hopefully. Hopefully nothing bad happens on the ship, dude. Oh, God. Oh, I don't know if I can take it, but... Here's to hoping everything's just hunky-dory from now on. Because, Jesus. I don't want to be... Having a fight on my ship anymore. Alright, what's up, guys? Everybody here? Everybody cool? You can put your weapons away. My like, goddamn. Lord Captain, the inspection of the ship's systems is complete. The tech priests are reporting the machine spirits are calm and satisfied. Everything is ready for onward travel, except there's the issue you must be made aware of. There is an issue. Me with the officers on the ship. Cool. Uh, Cassia makes a quick, nervous gesture, adjusting the adornment over her third eye. I've been studying the records left by the vessel's previous navigator. I wanted to double check the route to Dragonus and discovered that it does not match the one recorded in the Atlas. Oh, okay. It is more than a minor warp fluctuation. The route has been wiped out. It can no longer be used for traveling. To make matters worse, I started checking the paths from the atlas, one after another, and saw the same thing everywhere. The warp is roiling with an ominous storm, bursting with vivid and screaming colors. It was, it will not hinder our movement, but all previous knowledge is now utterly useless. That's insane. What the hell? Argenta angrily chops the air with the side of her palm. Warp storms are our enemy, just like heretics and demons. It is a shame they can't be dispersed with a flamer or a bolter. Uh, the Foxmaster. Now we can be certain that the problems, uh, the atropath, atropathic communication in the Coronis Expanse is no coincidence. There's a warp disturbance in your way, Lord Captain. It is swallowing messages and disrupting familiar routes. The means you need to locate the key world. This means you need to locate the key worlds of the Vox uh, Valencia's Protectorate as soon as possible. I'm talking about Janus, Daruga, and Kavira Gamma. <laughs> Charting new routes so they can be reached and restoring control will be the necessary next step. Okay, so everything's fucked. We got to go to each individual planet that we own and contact them and try to make new trade routes, which is interesting. Uh, what would the consequences of losing contact with these worlds be? A world deprived of uh, connection to its neighboring systems and the Coronix Expanse and Fraction infrastructure can only rely on itself, and their capabilities are often limited. For example, Janus does not have a fleet of its own, pirates, cultists, heretics, xenos, anyone could prey on the helpless planet. The loss of communications is a threat to your position. A rogue trader with no protectorate to back them is one that grows weaker by the day. 
The Vox Maxter is entirely correct. You are the rogue trader Wilbur von Valencius, the successor to Theodora von Valencius, uh, one of the most influential women this side of the mall. But you are also new to the business of governing. Many will doubt your competence and try to carve up your uh, protectorate so they may snatch pieces a piece for themselves. It is important to show your potential allies and foes that you are in control of the situation. Which is why the sooner we reclaim these lost worlds, the better. Oh shit, I just realized these are probably going to be all timed events and we gotta fucking... <laughs> we gotta figure out who we're going to first and everything. Tell me about Janus. The surface of Janus was altered extensively so the planet could be uh, designated an agri-world. Agri world, as we know, are agricultural planets. Yeah, uh, it is a powerful food based capable food base capable of supplying the begrudgingly protectorate uh, and exporting provisions to the outer worlds at the same time. Janus owes much of its prosperity to the governor, ho governor house of Viat. Uh, under its leadership, the world has grown even more prosperous year after year securing shipments and taxes will keep while keeping the workforce tightly controlled what about kaiva gamma an industrial world kaiva gamma is being managed by the governor house to park and supplies your protectorate with rare mineral resources additionally the planet features an adaptive mechanicus manufactorum that present uh, process that processes materials and prepares them for shipment industrial world i'm assuming an industrial world dedicated to manufacturing mining and refining very good uh the technical technical organization wait oh okay these are two separate things uh the priesthood of mars which maintains constructs and honors the sacred technologies of humanity in manufactorum a large factory of manufacturing complex very good I testify that Kiva Gamma is a world marked by the Omnisaya's patronage. By his grace, the manufactorums of the colony are inhabited by committed and industrious machine spirits. Heinrichs coughs quietly. Mistress Tol Toliman uh, neglected to mention that the... Uh, Heavy Gamma Manufactorum also supplies heavy machinery from forage harvesters to vessel systems and components. Abelard turns his head to Heinrich. Uh, your display commendable knowledge. You display commendable knowledge of world's manufacturing of the, our world's manufacturing capacity, von Kallax. Please to be a service. Uh, what do I need to know about Darganus? Darganus is the heart and soul of the Protectorate. It is where the main administrative resources and stores, storage facilities are. And so in, and so is the Von Valencia's palace. If you would like to know, uh, this is where you will publicly accept the title of the Rogue Trader. Uh, this planet is a major administrative hub that runs the cargo fleet and keeps track of finances. Okay. So we've got our food, our money, and our uh, machines, basically, on three different planets. Abelard, what is your opinion? Which should we deal with first? Uh, Abelard strokes his beard for a few seconds before giving a hesitant reply. Rediscovering the Avery world will supply your protectorate with something none of your servants can do without sustenance. The importance of basic supplies should not be underestimated. Just look at footfall in its current pitiful state. That is exactly what I was thinking. I was thinking we go after the food, then we go after the money, then we go after the materials. I think that's the plan. On the other hand, I am concerned by the rumors con concerning Akiva Gamma. There have been no problems on Janus for many years, but something is very wrong with the industrial world right now. Delay may cost us an entire planet. Okay, well that changes things. Maybe we go... Maybe we do the money last, then. 
I trust I do not have to explain the capital world. Losing it would make us the laughing stock of the other dynasties. Besides, the loss of chronicles and ledgers would spell a bureaucratic catastrophe. So all three systems are equally vital to the protectorate. It falls to you to decide which should be brought into the fold before the rest, Lord Captain. Fuck me. Uh, very well. Our course is clear. Do my officers have any other issues that require immediate attention? That is all, Lord Captain. The vessel and its crew await your instruction and are ready to depart football immediately should you so desire. Okay. So. Here's the thing. <laughs> so we have to go to these three worlds. Let's actually go over here and talk to this guy, the factorum, Factotum. I would like to replace the painting. No, I will keep the painting. Where is the... Uh, I would like to order the shipping transportation of goods. Okay, there it is. Oh, we actually have access to all the factions right now. Oh, that's insane. I had no idea. These guys are level six. These guys are cool. Uh, these guys are only level one. Let's take a look at everyone here. So I've taken all this. That's good. Let me see if they select tradable. This will get us halfway to level one. Okay. You. Oh, we're level six. Oh, and we have the, the stuff. Why can't I get this? Oh, 35. Oh, okay. So we can take this. This is a manual that grants the owner plus two times toughness bonus to Medicaid. It also grants toughness bonus movement points after using a med kit. Very cool. We will take that. We got a plasma pistol, 15 to 19. That's insane. And we can overcharge it for a area attack or we can overcharge it for extra damage. Very cool. We'll take that plasma pistol. I think I already have. Okay, so this is a different pattern, but it does do way more damage than the other plasma pistol. Interesting. Maybe we give that to Heinrich. Maybe we get him proficient in plasma weaponry and then give him this plasma pistol. That seems pretty good, actually. Uh, let's see here. What's tradable? Uh, that... That actually will get us over the edge. So I will trade that. Yeah, that gives us another level there. Now we're at level seven and we can do these. I still need 30 here. Let's look at this Omniscient Axe. Brutal strike, very cool. 16 to 24 bleeding, very cool. That is a good new weapon for Pascal, I think. Uh, reject the flesh rank one. Okay. Interesting. Let's go here. Let's go to the next guys. Can't really do anything here. Let's go to reputation. See what they need. We need 900. Oh, we only have 900. Okay, so that's not that good. We're not going to be able to trade with those guys for a while. Let's go to Riza or Riza. <laughs> uh, only 300 there in the jewelry aspect. But that gets us over to the next level. Cool. Our next thing is four, though, so we still have quite a bit of shit to sell. And then the Imperial Navy. I don't recall meeting this man, but that's on me. We've got a ton of shit here, actually. But uh, not a lot of stuff to trade. So let's take a look at all this. Mark 201B Augur Array. So this gives us granting 90% hit chance instead of the 80. So that's already an upgrade. Very good. Uh, 11 speed to the 13 speed with a low acceleration and braking. Huh. Interesting. 
Uh, this is a torpedo tube. Firing four plasma torpedoes with 19 damaging warheads, which is the same one that we have equipped, but we'll get another one. Very cool. Uh, lance weapon. This is the same one we have equipped. Okay. Okay, this, uh, ours provides 80 points of protection for each sector. This one provides 70 points of protection to each sector. This amount is doubled against enemies' blast attacks. So that might actually be worth it. Short range prow mounted micro cannons, which fire four shots, dealing 14 damage per shot. Interesting. And what is the prow? <laughs> Let me see the prow. Section of the voice ship where prow mounted weapons can be installed. Okay, fucking fantastic. Thank you. That was very informative. Let's just take it for now. And we might as well trade whatever we have. For shits and giggles. Okay. And I think we're done trading. Let us... Oh, installing components. You've received new equipment for your ship. To install it, open the void ship management screen on the panel on the right hand side. Uh, double click the left mouse to equip icon and hold and drag it or hold and drag it to the desired whatever. Oh, fuck me. I forgot to lock my shit. Let's unpause that. Let's go to the void ship management with B. Okay. Now, got some interesting stuff here. This, we probably want to equip. This, I will try, because I'm interested. This is just a straight upgrade. Very good. Uh, this and this are things we already have. Oh, no. Oh no, these two are the ones we already have. This is the prow battery. Okay, so I can either get rid of the torpedoes or I can get rid of the lance weapon. Firing a narrow arc. Hmm. I think I'll replace the torpedoes for now and try it and test it out. That's very cool. Look at that big ass gun. I think that's good for now. We are missing two points. Which is unfortunate. Upgrade. Oh, this is our leveling system. Posts. Let's see here. What do you have? So you can also pilot. You two can pilot, but mine is way better. Oh, and you have the same skill as me, it seems, right? Supreme Commander, focused efforts. Supreme Commander, focused efforts. Okay, cool. Uh, I think you're good there. Yes, you're definitely good there. 76 ain't bad. You are definitely good there. 65. You are probably the lowest one I have on there. And then 95. Very good. I think those posts are totally a-OK. -okay. Let us... Uh, hmm, what do I want to do? We have some people to talk to still on the bridge. Then I want to go into the thing and leave and go to our planets. But for now, I think I'm going to call it there. I think I'm going to call it there and we will start off next time with talking to some crewmates. And yeah, and then we will move on from football, it seems. So I will see you in the next one.